All right, welcome kings and queens. Today we are talking the mistress of Martel Hote, Arianne Curry, and the original Straight No Chaser. Y'all, another audio was leaked. And I'm wondering if you picked up a small piece of tea that they threw in there while talking. Now, this when they this part of the audio, when I listened to it, it actually made me think, hmm, Arianne knows she's being recorded. I think she this is her way of quote unquote telling her story. All of the things that she she claimed that she had a right to do and she deserved to do um, on Love and Marriage Huntsville. So let's talk about it because I feel like they dropped some tea. And I think y'all missed it. For those of you who are just tuned in or if you're new to the channel, welcome to the palace. I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of hot topics specific to reality television. But most importantly, I hone in on the psychological and the behavioral traits of the Black experience. Okay, I am not going to cover the entire conversation. I am just going to cover a few bullet points that I was able to extract that may be worth talking about. So further on um, in the audio leak tape, Arion, the mistress, yes, and Nay insinuated that Letitia and Marcel are not together. Okay, first of all, let's establish something. If Arion could... If Ariane was able to share this information, there's only one person that gave gave it to her, and that would be Martel. We know Martel pillow talks with her. We know he cannot keep his mouth closed, and he runs his mouth like a woman. So we do know he tells her everybody's secrets when it comes to his homeboys, which is why I think he hesitates to leave her, because she could literally blow his spot up. Um, but she's more concerned with being with him than she is um, utilizing the power she has over him to leverage and boss up. See, I would have been embossed up on his ass if I was her, but she don't have that kind of sense because she's more concerned with getting her butt licked. Okay. <laughs> and getting some clothes from H and M than she is with sitting back and really being strategic about how to make a move because let me, let me just get back, child. Let me get back. I'm not going to go there. Okay. So if she has this information, just know that it, it could only come from one place. That's Martel Holt. Okay. That means Martel told her that Letitia and Marso at this time when that audio was recorded. Now don't think about today, but it sounds like at the time that they had this conversation, there's a strong possibility that Marso and Letitia were separated or headed towards divorce. Okay. I can see it because there has been several hints of it. If we take a look back last season, the scene with Marso hinting living in a different place, apart from Letitia with his son. Do y'all remember? They were standing in a kitchen and, um, he, he stated, you know what, you can take the girls and you can go to the apartment and then I'll have Mikey and we'll go live somewhere else. And then she really had a strong reaction to that. She's like, no, we're going to operate under one roof. Okay. Did y'all catch that last season? I did. So based on the time that this audio, this dialogue was had in the conversation between Nay and Coleslaw occurred, there's a strong possibility they probably were separated and on the brinks of divorce or breaking up. And then if you think about last season, there were scene after scene after scene with each of them arriving separately. Last season, you could, you could hardly catch them arriving together um, in the same vehicle when it, came, when it came to social events and social outings. Now, I could definitely see how they would want to keep things under wrap and protect the image of a marriage so that, you know, they can stay on the show and things seem real. And I believe in my opinion, if this is true, that they were separated at some point, I do believe that production may have been aware of it. It's hard not to be aware of it. If you have people that are living in two different places or operating in two different spaces, right? There, there's not a meeting of the mind and they're not on the same page. It definitely makes sense. Letitia playing like she's pregnant and him getting an attitude because they really ain't going strong like that, right? Let's just say they were separated at some point, right? 
if they were, or if they are separated, they're definitely keeping it, keeping it on a low. And I believe like, cause he said, how can you leave somebody that's already left? <laughs> that was two episodes ago when she said, I would leave you. And he said, how can you leave somebody that's already left? So this man throws out hints all the time, letting us know he, he not really in that marriage like that. But if they are separated, I think it's because he's giving Letitia time to process. And ladies, that's why you don't fuck around like that. Excuse my language. When it's time to go, you got to go because we are emotional creatures. There's no easy way. There's no easy way out. There's no easy does it because the longer you stay in play, the more emotionally committed you remain in that relationship. He's gone. He said it. He used it. He said it with his own mouth. We can tell that he's out. But I, I think for her, she may be having a harder time, right? That's why it's, you got to go. When you have that conversation, we got we to gotta move quickly because your healing is so important. You got to give your, yourself a head start on healing. He's trying to give this lady time to process where they are in reality. He sat at that table with Chris Fletcher and he said, you know, when you're young, you think you're going to feel a certain way forever. But the reality is this is where I am today. And it's just not the same. And I knew exactly what he was saying. I knew exactly what he was saying. Um, yeah, he's gone in the mind, body, and spirit. I said that in my last review. Um, and y'all know Martel cannot hold ice water, honey. Outside of Martel knowing, I can also see Kimmy and Maurice knowing that the, the couple could be having problems or could be separated. In the audio leak, leak in the audio uh, that was leaked by original Straight No Chaser, Arion says that when it came to the alleged fight that Martel made her go live. My question to you is why? She said that she came out to discuss um, the alleged fight on social media so that she could follow very closely, help Martel, help Martel clear his name. I told y'all many, 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 many reviews ago that this girl, this girl <laughs> is giving for my man all day long, strong. Because she also did the same thing with that revenge P tape. Remember, she went on Twitter threatening to show the evidence against Melody. Um, and she also said to Nay in a previous leaked audio that the only reason why she did not mm, hit the gas is because it was Martel. And she knew it was him in the video and she wanted to protect him. Meaning she didn't give a fuck about Melody. She didn't give a fuck about Melody as a mother. She was willing to risk it all to hurt Melody on the behalf of Martel, to hurt Melody's children on the behalf of Martel. But the only thing that caused her to hesitate is she didn't want Martel to get hurt in the process of them committing a crime. I hope y'all are following me. Okay. So of course she, it's natural for her to jump on live and to support him with the lie. I do believe there was a fight. That's what I believe. And I'm not going to say allegedly because I'm saying that's what I believe. Doesn't mean it's true. I believe he knocked you upside your head. Your face was swollen and it appeared to be somewhat something going on underneath one of your eyes. So we know very well that uh, you and Martel are capable of lying. You and Martel are extremely capable of hurting others and then coming back to clean up the crime scene. Okay. So that's what I believe. Um, because if it wasn't true, right, that y'all didn't have a fight, why in the hell would you need to get on live to clear up a lie? He don't clean, he don't clear up nothing else. He don't jump on live to clear up nothing else. So why would he need to get on live this time if it's not true? That's because I believe it was true. That's just my opinion, okay? There's no need to go live if there was not a fight. There's no need to go live if you was not in a police station. And she kept saying to me, well, where's the police records? People said that they gave y'all a cool off period, a cool off time. So there would be no record if they just brought you in to cool off because you were not officially booked and charged with the crime. So don't play with us, girl. You got to stay up all night to run one, <laughs> to run one over on us. Okay. These people, 
that weave us that weave us that go after melody, they all have one thing in common. They want the attention that comes from being associated with her. And they don't care if it's positive or negative, as long as they get the attention. Not stopping to realize that everything that was built on that platform was based off of her concepts, her vision, her ideation of a show for reality television. Arion feels like she belongs there. Martel feels like he should reap the benefits of it, right? Even while cheating. She said, Arion, and, and nay, and nay, and nay. And even if he did or something like that, she said that when a man beats you up, what that would mean, nay? That means he crazy over you because to her, the lower and the more gutter the behavior means that he loves her. Y'all, those words came out of her mouth. That's why I know and I'm strongly opinionated that this girl would do anything, anything for this man, including losing her freedom and risking her freedom, okay? She said that had she been on that show, she would have glowed up. She would have glowed up. Her glow up would have happened. It would have occurred. So you mean to tell me, Arion, that you want another woman's blessings? Child, that's crazy. So you would have glowed up if you were on the show. You also said in another recording that had Melody left, you and Martel would have been together. See, see, nay, she was supposed to leave. I told y'all they had a plot against Melody. I told y'all, I've been telling y'all that. I've been on YouTube, what, about a year? And the more I started looking at them, I said, wait a minute, I think they had a plot to really come up off of Melody. She said it in a couple of audio leaks back that, nay, had she left, me and him would have been together. Well, back to reality, sugar cake. Melody did leave. Melody did leave. So he's all yours because that girl was banking on having ex ac access to Melody's mo money by way through Martel. And that's not what happened. So she feels like she should have glowed up off Melody's man, Melody's home, Melody's show. How come you and Martel are not in a better position than he was when what's for Melody is for Melody, period, point blank. All right, last but not least, the final point I want to make is she said, she kept using the word co-parent. We co-parent. We co-parent well. No, you don't. That's a lie. That's a lie that both you and he have rehearsed. Since when does co-parenting equate to sexual relationships? You keep saying you co-parent well in one, uh, in one breath, but then you turn around and says, but he don't want to keep your child when you ask him to. That's not good co-parenting. That's manipulation, control, dominance, and insecurity. So you do not co-parent well with Martel. You have sex with Martel and your child is in the home, probably somewhere playing while you guys are doing what you're doing. But when it's all said and done and it's time for you to leave and go where you belong back to your matchbox, he don't want nothing to do with you, nor does he initiate, according to you, having his child freely when you need him to and not when he wants to. So don't play with us. You do not co-parent well. He's using you for sex. Co-parenting is co-parenting. You do not have to give up sex or should not have to give up sex to get a man to see his child. Another thing she said, uh, Martel has hindering or has blocked her glow up. First of all, glow up doesn't require permission. You don't need permission from anybody to glow up. A glow up is a glow up. It's a quality and a trait that you possess by your work ethic. If you was that girl, your glow up would have occurred before you met Martel. If you was that girl, your glow up would occur by you finishing school. If you was that girl, your glow up would occur by you not getting fired for your job as a CNA. If you was that girl, your glow up would occur right now in real time by you being an employed woman, a mother of two. If you was that girl, your glow up would have occurred when you would not have left your child in a car and forgot about him. If you was that girl, your glow up would have occurred by you not utilizing your oldest daughter to be 
a babysitter to your child on live, instructing her to do duties that a mother should be doing. You not that girl. Ain't no glow up because you would have been glowing up the entire time. You would be glowing up by the things that you speak, the way that you behave when you don't realize, or you do realize that you're being recorded. Your entire life is based around melody. What glow up are you talking about? You let me, <laughs> that's something that's inside of you, darling. It's not something that you look at another woman and covet and envy and desire and hope that she goes away so that you could have what belongs to her. If you was going to glow up, you would have been done it.